Sam, check it out. This is what I'm wearing on my date tonight. Oh, I love that outfit. You look so cute. Thanks. I feel amazing. <gasps> my sweater. Erica, I'm so... I can't believe you would do that. It was an accident. An accident? Is it an accident that you're jealous because I have a date tonight and you don't? <laughs> jealous? <laughs> I'm not jealous. I was just trying to keep you from falling down. Well, I fell anyways, and my sweater's ruined. I can help you fix it. We can sew up the hole. You know how to sew? Yeah, kind of. Fine. So I do know a little about sewing, but I'm no expert. I just hope it's enough to patch things up with Erica. She's so mad at me. Sam, are you ready or what? So please like this video and write us a comment so that she won't be so mad. Sam! Coming! Okay, so I've got my little sewing kit here. Um, it's got several different colors of thread, a thimble, and several different needles. Cool. Yeah. First thing we want to do is match the color of the thread to the garment, which in this case is your sweater. I'm going to choose my color and then I'm going to cut a long piece. Okay, so I have my thread and I'm gonna choose a needle. Isn't there a part of the needle that's named after a body part? The, the head or, or the ear. The eye. Yeah, the eye is the little hole at the top of the needle. So I have to thread the needle, which means I put the thread through the eye of the needle. You know, you could just buy me a new sweater. I could. You know, if more people signed up for our Patreon account, maybe I could afford it. That would be nice. But anyways, fixing or mending clothes is a much more sustainable option. So many people throw away their clothes just because they have a tiny rip or tear in them. But mending is much better for the environment and your bank account. Can you hurry up? Stop needling me. I didn't touch your stupid needles. No, needling means you're trying to purposefully annoy someone. Oh, well, I guess I was trying to do that. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn the garment inside out and start stitching. All done. Are you kidding me? The stitches are all uneven. I can't go on a date wearing this. Oh. I guess I'll just have to wear something else. Wait, I have one more idea. So I may not be an expert sewer, but our friend Danny is practically a tailor. That means someone who makes or repairs clothes for a living. Oh, I can't believe you're dragging me across town for this. If anyone can fix the seam of your sweater, it's Danny. Well, can it fix this friendship? Because it's also falling apart at the seams. Deep breaths. Hi, girls. Hi, Danny. Thank you so much for agreeing to help us out. Of course. How can I help? Well, Sam destroyed my sweater in a jealous fit of rage. Okay, let's see what I can do. Can you show us how your sewing machine works too? Yes, this way. Okay. Okay, this is my sewing machine. Whoa. You can see the needle and the thread. And we have actually another thread down here. And we are going to pick that thread by lowering the needle right here. And we have the two threads. That is crazy complicated. Where's the on-off switch? It doesn't have one. 
This machine runs with a foot pedal right here. It's a little old fashioned. This thing looks like it was on the Titanic. Do you think you can fix my sweater? Absolutely, it's not a problem. But who did these tissues? Erica, the fabric cutter is not a toy. Sorry. Okay, but first we need to undo these stitches. And for that I need my seam cutter. Okay, and we are going to use it to cut all the stitches like this. This is really bad. Okay. What does this thing do? Don't touch. First, we need to raise the needle and the ficta. And for that, we are going to use this lever for the thick dog and the wheel for the needle. And then what? Now we are going to put our fabric under the thick dog and lower it again and start pedaling. Now it's time to finish off. We are going to use this lever to make the machine run backwards. So I'm going to raise the feet dog and I'm going to pull backwards the garment and cut the thread. God, Danny, you're a hero! It looks perfect! Thank God Danny knows how to sew, unlike some people. Hey, I am sick of being your pincushion. I didn't mean to rip your sweater, it was an accident, and you need to forgive me already. I'm sorry, Sam. I know, I've been prickly today. I'm just, I think I'm so nervous for this date. You have nothing to be nervous about. Dates are supposed to be fun. Just relax and enjoy yourself. You're right. I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. Ooh, anyway, it's getting late. If I'm gonna make it on time, I gotta get going. Come on. Hey, hey, your sweater. Oh, thanks. <laughs> have fun. Hey, so how'd it go? It was great. He was fun to talk to and he thought I was hilarious. I had him in stitches the whole time. I'm glad. Hey, I'm sorry about today. I should have known that the perfect outfit doesn't make the perfect date. It's okay. I understand that you wanted to look nice. I'm sorry for making it a tough day. Anyway, I brought you a piece of cake from the restaurant as a peace offering. <gasps> Yay! Dates are the best. Thanks for watching.